Well, it's a brand new edition of Metrofile. Our job here is to make sure you are up to date about what is happening on the social scene. Now, the year has already started, and so is the social scene. People have started celebrating one or two achievements in their lives and business. So we'll bring you some of them on the show today. As we celebrate the 70th birthday of the former Minister of Environment, Senator Helen Eswen. Harvard Business School holds their annual Black Tie and Leadership Awards in Lagos. Also on the show, Alphamed Development Company officially opened their Lekki Pearl Estate for prospective customers. Well, want to see the details quickly? Let's save you that. But remember to watch out for flash images while we do that. Once again, welcome to the program. I'm Ogechi Kwasi. Now let's get right into it. We go all the way to Akwaibom State for the birthday of Senator Helen Eswene. Now let's go join her in celebrating her new age. Senator Helen Eswene ended the year with a bang. She had some reason to thank God as she clocked three scores in ten. December the 23rd will sure remain memorable in her heart and the minds of those who gathered at the Ibom Hotel and Golf Resorts in Uyo, the state capital, to celebrate her 70th birthday. The event was a convergence of dignitaries from both within and outside the state, a show of love and respect for a woman of character and substance. The day began with a thanksgiving service by the celebrant and family to thank God for his mercies. The celebrant appreciates God for how far he has brought her. Life, the essence of life, what gives life joy is how we help each other. When you help somebody to grow from a rustic to a responsible human being, each time you see that person, it gives you joy. And that's the kind of joy that lasts. That's the kind of joy that endures and we should be a brother's keeper as the Bible watches us. Senator Helen Iswene is a woman of many achievements. She was a member of the Senate between 2011 and 2015, former Minister of State for Health, former Minister of Environment, wife of a former Governor of the Southeastern State, a woman of God, mother and grandmother. And so it's no surprise the turnout of dignitaries, and they include the former Head of State General Yakubu Gawan, Governor Udom Emmanuel and wife Martha, Two former presidents of the Senate, Senator David Mark and Senator Bukola Saraki, former Minister of Information, Professor Jerry Ghana, former Attorney General of the Federation, Akano Agabi, as well as wife of former President, Mrs. Bola Obasanjo, who were among prominent guests at the event. How delighted I am to be invited to this celebration of the 70th 
birthday of uh, in our dear uh, sister. Now, I can tell you this, that uh, it's only yesterday that if I, mean, I saw on the program that she is not only, uh, you know, Her Excellency, but she is also a bishop. The joy of this occasion is not that Her Excellency Senator Helen Swain has struck the age of 70 years. That's what I call the biblical mark. So many have crossed that Rubicon before now. It is that of her amazing lifestyle. Life of service, boundless goodwill, and what I could call unquantifiable kindness. We thank God for what he has done for you. And above all, we thank God for your humility. I believe that almost everybody in the audience here would acknowledge that you conducted yourself in an exemplary manner. You represented Akwaibon very well, and you still continue to be a good ambassador of Akwaibon State. She was a great builder, she was somebody who all went to for advice, and she was a good exemplary example of somebody in the Senate. We thank you for your service and what you made in the Seventh Senate. She is a wife, not a woman, because we have so many women all over the world, they are not wives. If you are opportuned to be close to she, Helen, Gloria, Elksone, your marriage will be intact. As she has trained me to hope about so tight, They all spoke so well of the celebrant and what she stands for. That and more was captured in the book, Helen Iswene, an icon of destiny, a biography of the celebrant. And a toast performed by Professor Jerry Ghana. May the Lord continue to watch over you. Amen. May you continue to blossom. Amen. May you continue to prosper. Amen. May you continue to be a role model. One of the high points of the day was the cutting of the cake. Very simple, very down to earth, yet disciplined, kind-hearted, um, very big heart, generous, you know, and um, very detailed planner. She's a natural administrator. So, I uh, mean, she has given us, as women, a good role model of what it means to work hard and to persevere against odds. And we are very proud of her. Senator Helen Iswene has a lot to be thankful for. Uh, it's not a journey that you just journey by your own strength and by your own ability. You can think uh, you know it all, but there's always something you don't know. And that little thing, maybe little that you don't know, could be the thing that may not allow you to succeed. 
But um, when you have God with you, you know, it goes ahead and smoothens the rough edges for you. The celebrant sure had a happy birthday with friends and loved ones. Here's wishing her more healthy years to come.